This is what the venue, Messy Berlin, looks like with thousands of tourists milling around at the popular ITB Berlin Fair. Germans attending the world's biggest travel and tourism fair have been searching for holiday inspiration, but many of them had already decided against going to Turkey this year following strained relations between Turkey and the European Union. This is a comment from a German tourist. I would not like to go there at this moment for vacation because I would not like to support Erdogan's politics. She explained that her daughter has a relationship with a Turkish exchange student there and the family was divided on their summer travel plans. There are also sites to engage attendees at the show. While others can fun at the fair, some say politics is not a factor in their perception of Turkey as a tourist destination. I think that people should separate between the political events taking place at the moment and the country. The people, the culture, that should actually be a little differentiated. I was once in Turkey and found it extremely nice. It's a super interesting, beautiful land. Turkey has long been popular for tourists because of its beaches, unique mountainous landscapes, and Mediterranean weather. However, official statistics show the number of foreign tourists continue to decline. The ITB Fair is held annually in March in Berlin attended by thousands of participants from around 180 countries worldwide. Nigeria has 22 airports operated by the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria. Five of these are functional international airports. In addition, there are state airports and airstrips or airfields scattered around the country. Here in Lagos, three airports serve the air traffic needs of passengers. First is the Murtala Mohammed International Airport. It was originally known as Lagos International Airport. The new terminal opened officially on 15th of March 1979 and was named after a former Nigerian military head of state, Multala Mohammed. This international terminal was modeled after the Amsterdam airport. It's the nation's busiest airport with an added cargo terminal open 24 hours daily. Twenty-six foreign airlines plus some of the nation's domestic airlines fly in and out of the terminal each day. The 
control tower here also takes charge of the air traffic. Two years ago, the terminal was expanded on the D and E wings and extended a few meters forward. The exterior facade of the building was mended to give it a modern look and an expansion of the footprint to create additional capacity and circulation space. New check-in areas and counters as well as immigration desks were added to ease passage for passengers. The General Aviation Terminal is a fan-operated terminal. It was remodeled in 2012 at the cost of 648 million naira. The domestic Terminal 1 in the country had its departure and arrival hall expanded to process about 2.8 million passengers per annum. The airport can handle 12 arriving commercial airplanes at the peak period and 1,500 departing passengers daily. The offices in the one-story facility was built to meet modern airport standards. And lastly, the Murtala Mohammed Airport 2 is the first and only privately funded terminal in Nigeria. It's also the first major build, operate and transfer project. The MMA2 has an obvious passenger and airline demand and currently handles over 50 flights a day. The airport's distinct features include a state-of-the-art terminal building, a multi-story car park, an apron and cargo shed. Last year, the COPS, the self-service check-in kiosk, was launched and the airline check-in counters increased to 45. And that's all we have for you on this edition of the program. But we would like to hear from you and you can reach us via our social media portal. Thank you so much for watching. Ukala Joe Ukitumbi. Okay,